name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Praise to you and peace from God our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. It is our great joy to celebrate with our children, seven of them, Connor, Jameson, June, Mia, Kira, Julian, and Emily. Today's first communion, they receive Jesus for the first time. So let us pray, pray for them and their family. <coughs> In order to prepare ourselves for Jesus, let us compromise ourselves. I confess, Almighty oh God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most serious fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary and the Virgin, all the angels and saints,
Jesus revealed himself again to his disciples at the Sea of Tiberias. He revealed himself in this way, together with Simon Peter, Thomas of Didymus, Nathaniel from Cana in Galilee, seven of his sons, and two others of his disciples. Simon Peter said to them, I am going fishing. They said to him, We also will come with you. So they went out and got into the boat. And that night they caught nothing. When it was already dawn, Jesus was standing on the shore, but the disciples did not realize that it was Jesus. Jesus said to them, Children, have you caught anything to eat? They answered him, No. So he said to them, Cast the net over the right, right side of the boat, and you will find something. So they cast it, and were not able to pull it in because of the number of fish. So the disciple whom Jesus loved said to Peter, It is the Lord. When Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, he tucked in his garment, for he was lightly clad, and jumped into the sea. The other disciples came in the boat, for they were not far from the shore, only about a hundred yards, dragging the net with them with the fish. When they climbed out on shore, they saw a charcoal fire, fish on it, and bread. Jesus said to them, Bring some of the fish you just caught. So Simon Peter went over and dragged the net ashore, full of 153 large fish. Even though there were so many, the net was not torn. Jesus said to them, Come, have breakfast. And none of the disciples dared to ask him, Who are you? Because they realized it was the Lord. Jesus came over and took the bread and gave it to them, and in like manner the fish. This was now the third time Jesus was revealed to his disciples after being raised from the dead. When they had finished breakfast, Simon said to him, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than this? Simon Peter answered him, Yes, Lord, I know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my hands. And then he said to Simon Peter a second time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Simon Peter answered him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Tend my sheep. Jesus said to him the third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was distressed that Jesus had said to him a third time, Do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know everything, you know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my sheep. Amen, amen, I say to you, when you were younger, you used to dress yourself and go where you wanted. But when you grow old, you will stretch out your hands, and someone will else, someone else will dress you, and each way you can want to go. He said this, signifying by what kind of death he would glorify God. And when he had said this, he said to him, Follow me. The Gospel of the Lord. Like, show, like, show himself like 
in heaven, like in the skies, or he was uh, he was cooking. Jesus was cooking breakfast for his disciples. And do you know that many important events happened during the meals? Do you eat meals? <laughs> <laughs> yes or no? Should I call sugar services? <laughs>
gets us together, and we, uh, you know, we actually him too. We, we form uh, Jesus. So, you know, do you think it was easy to do it for the disciples? No. It was easy or not? No. Why? Right. They didn't have Jesus to guide them, no, but they had the Holy Spirit now. And they had Eucharist, so Jesus was there with them too. Because Jesus said that they, some people hated him, so they were going to hate them too. And they did. Some people, uh, they did. And they, apostles had to die because they had faith in Jesus. All of the twelve apostles, eleven died. Do you know which one did not? I mean, that died with, uh, of the old age was Saint John. So you know that still uh, in the world, some people are hated because they believe in Jesus. You know that, and sometimes they they, they they die for that. So I don't think we would we would we would die for Jesus because nobody is like persecuting us, but. Jesus wants us to follow him. At the end of the gospel, he says, follow me. So how do we follow Jesus? And then, yeah? Right. Listen. The first time. Okay. <laughs>
Christ, glory and honor for the gifts you have given us, especially in the gift of your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit for all eternity.
come for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, that the man who betrayed and entered willingly into this passion he took bread, and gave him thanks for it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be put out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
called the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, may not for thee, but you should enter from the right roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Oh 
the flesh, the incorruptible glory of the resurrection, through Christ our Lord. Amen. As you know, our parish activity participate in grateful for God's providence campaign, and uh, you will receive soon a letter from the bishop, so please uh, uh, review the letter and uh, pray for the success of our campaign. And also, next weekend at the back of the church, we will have a rose sale. Benefit Mother of Life Center because the cost of the rose is $50. And also, ladies, you will have the yard sale next Saturday, May 11th, from 8 to till noon at St. Vincent, St. Vincent de Paul School Gymnasium. <coughs> and once again, I would like to congratulate all our children who received the first communion today. And parents and family members and <coughs> friends. And I do have for you some certificate and well a lot of things. Prayer <laughs> and a rosary prayer book. So uh, Jameson, congratulations. Thank you. 